Hey there. Hey there. Was it cool? It felt really cool. Today is day five of the Linux Upskill Challenge. We got to the end of the week. Uh, we are going to learn about pagination and some type completion, command history, and dot files. Okay, I have my server here. I'm going to use more. More is a file per usual filter for CRT viewing. You can say that is an old comment just for the just for the CRT viewing. But what more does is to paginate a text into a screen. This is showing long. You can see at the end here of the screen percentage of the file that I'm seeing. I can use enter to get down one line at a time. I can use space to go one page at a time. And if I want to know more, I can use H for help. It's going to give me an idea of how to use more. I am more of a less girl, so <laughs> let's use less because less is more. <laughs> Shut up. In the pagination, it seems like it's the same, but you can really use, instead of using enter, get down one line at a time, you can use the arrow keys. It's a little more intuitive. I can go to the beginning of the file with lowercase g. Or I can go to the end of the file with uppercase G. I can search with slash and you see here at the end of my screen, the slash is appearing, sudo, sudo, sudo. I want to go to the next appearance of sudo. I use lowercase n. I want to go to the previous uppercase n. And if I want to know more how to navigate less, I can also type H and you see the difference? There is a lot more features and searching and information and jumping on the file. This is really nice. By the way, um, I'm awesome. Q to quit. <laughs> the interesting of the manual for less is this, it says it's opposite of more. It is a joke in itself. Less is a program similar to more, but it has many more features. First task is done. Second task, let me show you the power of tab completion. I have been typing the entire commands for these videos and I'm getting tired. So good that the command line in Linux already had the feature. I don't have to type everything. I can use just, let's see, I want less, slash V tab L tab. If I give one tab and I receive a beep, from the command line or it's not responding immediately. If I give another tab, it gives me all the options for that search. It could be lib, it could be local, it could be lock, it could be log. A U tab. For a command line this short, it doesn't seem that facilitate that much, but if you got a lot of, of parameters to get into and more than one item to put into your comment is going to add up. And one thing that is really good, if it's not in the system, it will say so by not showing any options. If I'm getting just beep beeps, I'm doing something wrong. Induce an error getting a typo in my command and mess it up. Top completion is a security feature as well. Task number two completed. Command history. So you see that we used the same command a few times. That was as var log out log. Okay, with tab completion it's a little easier, but I'm still using the same command all the time. How about new? History. I want to check my history. There are all the commands that we submitted. So if I want to repeat this command, line 133 that is apt search midnight commander i could use that Ex exclamation point and the number 133 pulls the history line 133 and execute that command again and by the way what i'm doing all the time to clear my screen is ctrl l i want to see the last 10 10 comments i submitted 
history 10, it gives me the less than. I, I don't want to list all my uh, previous comments. I want just the last one. I could use exclamation point minus one, or I can use just exclamation point, exclamation point. And I got the same thing. Let's say I want to use this last time I used a sudo command. Use exclamation point sudo and it gets the last command that I starts with sudo for me. And this exclamation point exclamation point is something that I do a lot. It's a good trick to use especially when you submit a, a command that requires root permission but you forgot to put sudo. Ooh, permission denied. Instead of getting back put sudo on front I can just sudo exclamation point exclamation point here we are so task 3 completed there is a file that stores all of the history from your command line dot bash underscore history same thing the difference is is not as in interactive as the command history which leads us to last point of the day that is the dot files remember that i'm already talking about the hidden files hidden file is any file that starts with a dot that's why it's often called dot files what is this this is the personal settings for my home directory what you're gonna hear about dot files you want to change your system you're going to jump to another distro what about all the configuration that you did on your prompt on your editor and other programs that you have installed that require information that we tweak it to your own needs where this is all stored in the dot files so the most used dot files they are the the basics of all are the bash history that we just learned about and bash rc we are using less that is just to prompt the contents of the file on the screen for us this is not really appealing let's try to use our first text editor nano ah a lot better huh nice we can see this, the things popping up. What we're talking about, the history. How big is the history? The history size is a thousand and the history file size is two thousand. Remember that we uh, configured our prompt a few lessons ago, but that was, that was not permanent. To be permanent, we have to export that to a configuration file. In this case, we have here the configuration of the PS1. This little thing here, it means control. Dealing with configuration files is something you have to learn. So that's it, folks, and see you next week. Mm -hmm.